things are getting heated. Spicy drama, debates, objection. Your plan is trash. Your plan is trash. And the prince is all just glazing in harmony, bro. They're all just NPCs. I'm glad to see Alicia talking shit, though. I hated how the sage, you know, the, the heroine, though, she takes all the credit and the prince is like, oh, so smart. Even though Alicia literally just solved everything for her. Now, there was a bit of sub issues regarding the missing portraits who we see in the portrait right the the episode subs were telling us something about like big brother there is some uh, it could be father i don't know honestly i think i'm I, I could go figure it out but i i think it's better for me to just be confused but there's something going on with uncle will let's begin today's reaction Arishio. we had a cliffhanger last episode right you're gonna call her I think this is definitely due to that blonde guy who was like Arishia Williams, even though no one asked him to do anything. He was like around the, uh, you know, the main heroine. No, our boy. If you don't want to die, it's got a shock collar. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit! Wait, Alicia's up? She's gonna kick her way out? Yo, the real threat. Yo, that was some villainous. Oh. The villainous and sleeping side by side is today's title. What's sleeping side by side? It was Prince Duke doing something today? Yo, Alicia's up. I thought that she couldn't fight without a sword, but martial arts, she got it. Kick him again. Yo, she been doing push-ups when she was like five years old. Shit. Yo. Hands are good. <laughs> Dual wielding, bro. This is getting high. I love it when her eyes go like that, bro. That look is just menacing. Should backblade. That's some Guruni Kenshin shit, bro. She only hitting with the fucking back of the blade. So cool, Alicia. That's right, we will let you get away. Pussies. Dude, the dexterity to just throw that at his feet? What the? Oh, come on. Oh, who would. Heroin. Ah. Ugh. Oh, she sucks, dude. She fucking sucks so much, bro. Oh, we can't kill anybody. Please. Do you. We're the, we're the victims. We're the victims. Disgusting. So stupid, so naive. Yeah, you only saw what happened here, but have you ever questioned what Alicia is doing? If you truly trusted Alicia, don't you think that you would have just kind of let, like, believe her give the benefit of the doubt? Why are you giving the benefit of the doubt to this random fucking dude here? Bruh. I swear to God. Oh. She could have stabbed us while we're restrained. This is a combo attack. Oh, Duke. Hi. <laughs> Pre-order guy. Pre-order guy showed up. That was actually hype. <laughs> Yo. Duke Denka. Nice. That is a... Is, isn't that Gojo's voice actor? What the fuck is Gojo's voice actor playing this random dude here? Did you hear this? <laughs> is that not Gojo? It sounds very familiar. I thought it was. He's so cool. Yo, my heart's going a little doki doki right now. Yo, where's Liz at? I got something to say to that bitch. Oh, Duke, mad, mad. <laughs> Why, Liz, are you alright? <laughs> 
<laughs> she shows up, has no idea what's happening, pretty much engages in the joint special combo attack against fucking Alicia, and, 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 and she's the victim. <sighs> Off with their heads, every one of them. Yeah, duh. I like Henry. Sorry, Albert's the cool one. Henry's the shitty one, I think. Alicia tried to kill a man who wasn't resisting. Why don't you fucking ask? Like, 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 what, what does it look like? Like, I, I just... After everything we just saw, you're still questioning? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, Henry's the cool one? So is Albert actually, you know, showing to her side? So I thought that, you know, this was the good one, but like, no, 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 no. This isn't even the twin. This is the older brother, right? There's like the twins and then there's the older brother. I can't really tell, honestly, but uh, we're good with Albert too, basically. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> no, no, there's something, there's something weird going on. A theory that I have right now is that Liz has some kind of magic that's working on all these NPC princes. We're led to believe that because of the storytelling that there's just supposed to Glazer. There's something weird there. As soon as she said that, he didn't even question. He was like, what? Alicia, you evil. <laughs> yeah, what about that? Pussy, fuck you. Albert sucks. We're not cool with Albert, bro. Almost died. Where's the apology? I hate her so much. This is even worse. This is like... Okay, so far, you could kind of believe that Liz is just like a innocent, naive girl. But this is like more malicious than truly evil people. People who act kind and act as a moral fucking ethical hero. Those people sometimes are even more dangerous and vile than truly evil people. This right here, malice disguised as good is... Ugh. Ugh. The... The notion, you're not dead though? Yeah, but I could've died. What happens then, right? It's just crazy. <laughs> Fuck your faith! Ugh. Ugh. This is dangerous. This is actually dangerous, bro. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go pre-order, guy! Let's go pre-order, guy! <laughs> yes! Yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. This show is actually so fucking hype right now. True. No, no. We should have ended her there. Alright, green magic is more than plant magic. It also heals. Cool. He can just do that. Much? Oh, she lost a tooth? Bruh. And it's right, going to a fucking dentist. Fuck you. I would never think if... I would never think it didn't matter if the two... Yeah. If the two of them died... That's the thing. It's the fact like... like Her logic is like... But they're alive, right? Everything is good, right? It, it's like... Right. Oh, 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 I hate so much for this. Yeah, it didn't happen, so it's fine, right? Fuck. Based. Mm -hmm. She's in cloud nine. She's so unaware. What's important? The fuck him all, bro. And, and then the claim. The fucking yes man! Nah, dub, dub girl. Nah, don't listen to him. You a strong, independent girl. You don't need nobody. You right. They're gonna learn their ways one day. It's crazy. And then they enable this fucking delusional behavior. Bro. We 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 need like a demon lord to fucking invade the city. And take down every one of these fucks. Thank god Duke listens to us. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yep. This is a sinister frame. Something is very off, right?
is she truly just naive and innocent? Or is there something more sinister with intent going on? They're slowly showing, like, like this, I think, is the turning point. So far, I could have just justified everything of, she's just an idealist. She's a naive idealist. But today is totally different. Her logic of, everything is just fine, right? And then, this too? <sighs> I don't know, bro. Crazy plot twist. She, and, and remember, an, a, a, another very stupid point, but that may add to the theory that she's not the real heroine, is that whenever we see the villainous or the heroine in the game cover picture illustrations, we never see Liz's design, but we do see Alicia's design. I am willing to think that she's another Isekai character that killed who the actual sage is and took over that spot. Yeah, that's what I want to think. And instead of everyone, these princes, obeying her because that's how the story's supposed to progress, maybe there's something else going on. Like, there is even, like, a like proposed question of, like, you know, like, uh, what's it called? Is, is there some sort of magic happening that's influencing all these princes? Mm, I don't know. But Duke is not impacted. <laughs> Silence, Unna. Oh. It's too good. <laughs> yes, he loves her, bro. I mean, he's loved you since you're fucking eight years old. He literally courted you with like a gift, some kind of pendant when you're like nine. Of course he does. <laughs> Doki Doki. Doki Doki. You don't know what's happening? You got pre ordered. You got groomed. But again, I never see anyone else mentioning, you know, the whole logic that we apply to Rudius and Mushoku Tensei with Alicia in this show because her ass is not this age. She was at least, you could say 15, maybe 20, right? Just add that number plus how much old she is. She's older than him. She's the one that's being groomed, but ain't nobody ever says that, right? Y'all are fucking double standarded up. Duke is the one getting groomed. Duke got pre-ordered. <laughs> what I say, episode title today. Side by side. Side by side? With who? Where? What? Oh, six pack. <laughs> oh. Damn, Duke literally came out of the frame. I love, I, I think they do the intermission scenes the best. It's voice acted, there's animation, and like Duke, even like the next intermission frame, like straight up played into it. I like these intermission frames. With story also had great ones where it's just like giving you logic, like, um, what's it called? Like lore drop of what's happening, more like exposition of like what's going to happen in the episode, maybe. Stuff like this is cool. <laughs> Look at those pecs, bro. No nipples, though. No nipples is weird, but like, god damn. Just like, okay, I want you to cover the screen and move his, just hide his head. Just, just basically, if you get rid of the, the head and just leave just the pecs, it just looks like booty cheeks right now. Does it not? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Misconstruing. Nah, this guy right now has been awake the entire time. He's been waiting in this position until Alicia woke up, bro. He's conscious. He's doing this. This is not a, like, this is not like an innocent man just, like, you know, vulnerable. He, he, he's literally just like, do it. Approach me. <laughs> Immoral villainous. Yo, why are we getting hit? Jump into his chest. Oh shit, he's getting up. He's up. Mm, the gift. <laughs> yeah, remember when I pre-ordered you with this? I got it back for you. Wow. 
This is so intimate. <laughs> Ew! You, you gotta brush your fucking teeth. I don't want to smell your fucking morning breath. Wah wah. Duke got cucked by Gil. Her <laughs> consent. He didn't touch her that way. He did touch her, but not like that. To show off my six pack. Oh. Look at Duke trying to look cool. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, right. She lost a tooth, man. <laughs> Really? Have you ever heard that? I've never heard that lore. <sighs> okay. Get stronger, Jill. Okay. Wow. It'd be funnier if Duke is like getting competitive over the kid with that tooth, like though I want it. Maybe Jill just wants to go home and just like, you know, roll the tooth around his tongue like that cherry in that one Jojo meme where he goes lero lero lero. I think it's the blonde haired guy, the one that was very hostile towards Alicia. Johnson! There's Johnson! Yeah, he was deranged. Kidnap him. Oh, Duke already fucked him up? Already? Oh, come on. I wanted a bit more like petty revenge. Just like dunk on Johnson, but... I do... Ah, man, Duke is actually just like... Duke is clutching so hard. Duke cares, like handles business so hard. Yeah, what's up with that collar? Johnson got off screen. Womp womp. What? Fuck. There. Training opportunity? Like, like, he knew that Alicia would get kidnapped and maybe even die, but expected Liz to save her, and that was like the opportunity? What? That's crazy. Johnson. The fuck? Whack. This ain't sucks. This ain't my saint. Yeah, because she's very proud to be a villainess. Yeah, the crazy thing is, this fucking king relies on this, like, and, and this has happened since when she was, like, nine. He'd be like, so, nine-year-old, what do you think about all these important, you know, um, polit political problems that we have in this nation? What's your uh, opinions and then I'll solve it? Oh, yeah? Okay, I'll do it. Like, bro just asks her of, like, all these difficult questions and what you should do as a ruler. And he's like, okay, thank you for your opinion. He just gets carried by it. And then he sacrificed her like that? Nah. Nah. We're not going for the happy ending. Is Gil saying this adamantly because he realizes that Duke is such a competition for Alicia and Gil wants Alicia? Based on the intermission scene, it looked like Duke was actually competing against Gil, right? Saying like, no, shut the fuck up, I'm gonna be the one protecting her. No, 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 the Black Rose. Yeah, bro, do you really think after all that investment since Alicia was eight years old, all that pre ordering, do you think he would just let that go? Do you understand how hard he's been planning and scheming for this plan to come to fruition? You think he would just walk away from this after all that setup? Fuck no. Happy <laughs> end. <laughs> you gonna show me a happy ending? Yeah, 
We homies? Nah, you're fine. Head pass from the crown prince. Dude, Duke is so likable today. Yeah, honestly, Duke has been growing on me, right? So far, it's just been kind of creepy moments here and there, but ever since the clutch save and him, like, admonishing Liz to, like, I, I love this guy now. Maybe I, too, have been groomed. This is, what, like, six episodes of me being groomed? He got me, too. A smile. I expect the black rose to show up at some point because like there's a blue rose, there's a gold rose for Liz, but there's got to be a black rose for us. We even see it in the opening. Mm -hmm. We're hard stuck at 80. その年で80過ぎちゃダメだって what? What? We're kicked out of the school until 15? Wait! Wait! I mean, I guess the dad's just looking out. 13, by the way. 13. Yeah, 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 I don't think this is because he hates, you know, Alicia. No, it's because they're worried about our about her safety. So he's just like pulling her out. What? She is? Why is she so OP? Other than her being the quote unquote main character. Alright, hit level 90. No, we can do it. It was supposed to be an impossible condition. But she accepts it. We're back with Uncle Will? Where, where are we? This is basically her hyperbolic time chamber. She's just here to lock in. This is Alicia's winter arc. She's actually just getting locked in. Just... Just separating herself from society. She's just gonna grind until she gets level 90. Okay, that's the episode. Facebook deactivated. Instagram, I'll delete. Social media apps, I'll delete it, bro. No smartphone in here either. It's just her and herself. And she's gonna fucking grind to level 90. This episode was honestly peak. If the production value... What do I mean by production value? Maybe the animation quality was a bit higher polished. Maybe I could say it was truly peak peak, but this is minimum grade on the tier list. This, this is a really, really fun episode. Fuck it, maybe I'll just put it peak because of how much fun I had. Duke popped off, bro. Uh, Liz also, bro, Liz just like getting in our way with her naive ideal. It's like, dude, doesn't that feel like she almost tried to kill us? I don't know. Maybe you could assume that Liz was actually trying to kill Alicia here because Alicia's getting in Liz's way. That's a theory that I'm willing to entertain. Yeah, she held him up because it looked like, you know, from an outer glance that we're chasing after a dude that's running away with fucking two daggers, right? Two knives. Kind of looks bad. But like, the fact that she was so adamant about this and her whole, like, personality today was a bit sus. So far, it's just been innocent, naive. But now she's like, well, she's alive, so it's all fine, right? And there was even a moment where there was a very suspicious frame close up where you can't even see her eyes. And she's kind of smiling as it, you know, pertains to Duke. I think that maybe 
that she meant to kill Alicia there, and maybe she also is an isekai character that took care of the sage. Basically, like, parallels where Alicia always wanted to be the villainess, and this girl's always wanted to be the sage, but she got reincarnated here, and maybe she wasn't the sage, right? The main character, so she decided to take upon it herself. I don't know if that makes sense or how she's able to even use every element magic, right? There's other conditions that requires you to, you know, be a sage, but... There's something more than meets the eye. Duke, honestly, the pre-ordering memes, yeah, creepy, but his... The way that he, like, sided with us and helped us, it truly went, like... It meant a lot. Because, like, even our fucking brother is against us, you know? And it's so crazy how quick those brothers will just hear Liz's words and immediately change their minds. Like, Albert was showing up and be like, Oh, are you hurt? Oh my god! And Liz is like, nah. She kind of bad for that. And Albert's like, what? You evil demon. What the fuck is going on? So the king kind of like set this up for an opportunity for Liz to grow. Maybe the king is also being manipulated by Liz. I'm not really sure. But we're basically... We can't go to school unless we get level 90. And we've been stuck at level 80 for a while. So we're going to go into the hyperbolic time chip. We'll grind the next episode. We'll be back. That's it from me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.